All right, so here we have our diagram of a double-stranded DNA molecule. And of course, replication starts here at an origin of replication, where the DNA gets pulled apart, and that allows this helicase enzyme to get in there and start separating the strands. Now it works along with this topoisomerase enzyme that helps to relieve the tension that builds up as those strands get pulled apart. So now here we are a fraction of a second later. We have the helicase and the topoisomerase. And now we're going to put a primer on each strand. Now this is synthesized by an enzyme called primase, but these are little molecules of RNA. They're complementary to those single-stranded DNA molecules. So I'm going to label the 5' prime and 3' prime ends because that's going to help us for later. Now there's going to be a primer on this strand too. And also uh, we'll fill in the nucleotides and then label the 5' prime and 3' prime ends. Now, the DNA polymerase enzyme is going to start from the 3' prime end of that primer. So here's DNA polymerase. It starts right there. And then we're going to erase this. And then a fraction of a second later, it will have added some DNA on there to that 3' prime end. So there's the DNA polymerase moving in this direction. We can fill in the DNA nucleotides that would have synthesized. So we're always adding nucleotides there at the 3' prime end of that molecule. Now, the same thing's going to happen to the primer on the other strand. There we go. It's moving that direction. And uh, there's the nucleotides added to the 3' prime end. OK, now again, here's that same molecule, fraction of a second later. I'm going to try and draw the primers here in the same location. So there's our first primer. And on this lower strand, we would have just extended that DNA out. There's the DNA polymerase here at the end, still just moving along in the same direction, following the helicase, adding nucleotides at the 3' prime end of that new strand. Now on the other strand, it's a little more complicated. Here's our original primer, and there's the five prime end. Now at this point, we've it, in our drawing at least, we've run out of templates. So at that point, the polymerase is going to dissociate. So here comes the DNA polymerase coming off. And now a new primer is going to be synthesized on that lower strand. So we'll draw that new RNA primer in here. The primase enzyme comes and does that. Now the DNA polymerase is going to jump onto the three prime end of that and then start extending. So here now is a drawing of after that has taken place for a little bit. DNA polymerase moving in that direction. All right, now we want to fill in some more details on this. This bottom strand, what we see is continuous synthesis because it's all one long piece, whereas this is discontinuous on the top strand. The bottom strand is referred to as the leading strand, and this one at the top is the lagging strand. All right. On the lagging strand, these little pieces of DNA, which eventually get merged together into one continuous piece, are called the Okazaki fragments. And that's on the lagging strand only. All right, so now some other details. Little proteins here keep the DNA from separate, keep it separate until uh, the DNA polymerase comes through. Those are the single stranded binding proteins. And each of the polymerases is associated with a protein called a sliding clamp that helps the DNA polymerase stay associated with that DNA as it's being, uh, with the template strand as it's being synthesized. And the last thing to add is it's DNA polymerase 3 is the enzyme that we're using.